What is theocracy? Today the discussion is about to be different forms of government and states. In different regions of the world. Different forms of government. The states that I'm going to discuss are the ideal states in Weberian language. It means that what I'm going to discuss would be the ideal kind of governments, but if we look at the world, none of such kind of government exists because everywhere in the world even in Pakistan, every form of government is a mixture of various features from various form of ideology. If you look at the American politics, so there are two types of governments, number one the government of Republican Party and number two the government of Democratic Party. So here you cannot claim that the Republican Party is capitalistic and Democratic Party is absolutely socialistic party or communist party. But they can be either of both. So similarly, today, I want to make you understand the ideal types, and then it can be guessed about the type of state that exists within Pakistan and other regions of the world. What kind of state exists inside Pakistan and what a person prefers to be the ideal state in Pakistan? If we talk about ancient civilizations, firstly religion played a very important role and it had an important role even in politics. And often in old times, the states were called theocracies due to this reason. Theocracy means representatives of any religion whether they are priests, clergy, bishops, are Islamic scholars what the rulers in those states. So basically they used to be their heads of the states on the basis of their religions. This was not the exact case but in every state there was representatives and non-representatives of the religion. So in short, theocracy is a system of government in which religious workers or scholars such as priest clergies are Islamic scholars are the ruling body and they rule the basis that society should be shaped according to the religion exist in that particular region. So for example, if one looks upon the ancient state of Israel, not on today's modern state which is a secular state, but the state of Hazrat Musa which was also a theocracy in other terms, the theocritic state. In modern times, a small independent city called Vatican City, which also had a seat in the United Nations, is theocracy because it is ruled by bishops and pope. Similarly, up to some extent in Iran, this Islamic scholars means ulma were in power and it can be called an Islamic theocracy. Another example is the Tibetan government in exile, which is the government of the capital Dalai Lama. It's also theocracy, and the government of Buddhists monk in Tibet up to date is also a theocracy. The ancient civilizations of Persia, Iran, during the rule of Zoroastrianism about 1000 years before the Muslim conquest. The more one explores the past years in the history, the more you can see that religion and the state were interlinked with one another so deeply that the state affairs were established according to the religion power and no one could decide even a single step without mingling or considering the religious context. In modern times, there are some powers and movements which want the re-establishment of theocracy. For example, Christian fundamentalist movement in the West and Islamic fundamentalists movement in the East such as Daesh or ISIS are similar movements which warrants the reoccurrence of caliphate rule. Along with two theocracy states, the government or governance of the government was named as monarchy because there were very few pure theocracies. In ancient times, built theocracies were very few because the scholars in other words the ulma, priests, bishops or any other religious members had to share their powers with the owners of the land. The owners of the land had an important role whether they were the feudal lords of Europe or landlords of the Mughal empires or lords of other civilization. If the king or queen with powers dies, those powers were transferred to the next in line of the coming generation. So it was considered for life. And mostly men were the ones in power or due to some reasons, the king abdicates meaning. He with his own will relinquishes the monarchy. Then the throne was transferred to the next person. So, if you look back on the pages of history you can see different forms of monarchy. Words like king and queen were used. In ancient Roman empires they were called as emperors. The word Raja, 
Khan, and to some extent were used in some meaning though. When we hear the word Caliph, we presume a different meaning such as Rashidun Caliphate of Islam. In Russia the word Tsar was used, Sultan was used for Usmani Caliphate, are the word Shah. So, all these words were different titles of monarchs. We hope that you have learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching.